So as you'll see, this may be familiar to many of you if you are currently using it, CRM in the classic interface. If you'll see marker number one, that shows you the different stages in the business process flow. And two, that shows you what's called the fly down, which shows you the different steps in the business process flow. One thing in the classic interface that is a little bit confusing is in these flyouts, as you can see, they go along horizontally below the step. The problem is all seven of these steps are a part of the qualify stage. So one point of confusion is that the second column of three steps is often confused as being for develop and that capture summary, that last you know, point, that last step is often confused for being either part of propose or close. So that is setting up one part of business process flows that has been changed in the unified interface. And also when looking at business process flows in mobile apps versus the web app, there is some differences. So as you can say, the unified interface already looks very different than the classic interface. And most notably, when we look at our business process flow, it's been completely redesigned from a visual perspective. And you may note that right now you don't see the flyout. You can't see the individual steps for each stage. Now, when you go and click on the target, that flyout will actually show up for you and it'll allow you to keep track of all that information. And as you can see, there's a little plus there that just notes that this is recommended for the user to mark. But these are the exact same seven steps as before, existing contact accounts, time frame, and so on with the other steps. So once, just like a normal lead to opportunity in the classic interface, with the unified interface, you're able to go through, collect all of your information, and then go on to the next step. Now, if we wait one moment, my apologies, you have to qualify the lead instead of clicking next step there, but it will process, create the opportunity record, and eventually it will show up as an opportunity record instead of a lead record. So once that's completed, we'll show the next feature, which is pinning the stage flyout, which is very different than how it's done in the classic interface. If you remember the classic interface, the way that you see the data, it's always that like horizontal box right here below the business process flow. It stays with you the entirety of the record. But as you can see right now, there is no flyout. But when we click on the flyout again, we can see this little uh, pin the stage flyout button right here. And we're able to click that and it'll actually pin the flyout on our side instead of keeping it horizontal. So this is an option for users to have. Currently, it is only able to be enabled on a user to user basis. However, Microsoft is working on creating this option as system wide.